Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hacienda. Rivet here. Uh, today we're going to make something really delicious. Uh, about a month ago I posted on my community tab a poll um, of what your favorite cold weather meals were and uh, the two that were tied for the top were soup and uh, hot sandwiches. So I've already put out a couple soups, uh, cream spinach and cauliflower. Today we're going to make a hot open faced turkey sandwich with a Mornay sauce. Yes, so you see the ingredients here. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to take the onions and the mushrooms and start cooking them up in some nice butter. Um, once they start cooking, we'll add the turkey on top of that to heat through. Mrs. Ribbit made a turkey yesterday, which was absolutely delicious. So I've sliced off uh, some of the meat off the thigh because uh, I like the dark meat, and that's what we'll be using today. All right, while the turkey and the onions and shroomers are cooking or heating up, we're going to start making our Mornay sauce. And it starts out with a bechamel, which is just butter and flour in equal amounts and I've got it on number six not quite medium not quite medium high and we're gonna cook this for about a minute or two alright after about a minute and a half we're gonna start adding the milk and a small stream like that and continually uh, whisking it in and uh, until we get a nice thick sauce a couple minutes into this cooking time, stirring constantly, uh, I'm going to add some salt. Um, I'm going to skip the pepper because I don't want the little black flakes. Alright, I've turned down the heat to number four. Uh, this is boiling and getting thick. Now we're going to add the cream cheese and the shredded Parmesan. And this is what turns the bechamel into a Mornay sauce. Okay. <clears throat> the Mornay sauce is ready when it's this consistency. Now let's go ahead and uh, toast the bread and build the sandwich. I forgot to say that uh, once everything's done, you add one more pat of butter, uh, melt it in to give it a nice sheen and a finishing touch. Right, the bread is nicely toasted and buttered. And so the <clears throat> first thing we put on there are the mushrooms and uh, the onions. Okay, I'm going to try to layer this and have the turkey finish at the top, but it's kind of not working out that way. But see how the uh, mushrooms have gotten nicely caramelized uh, along with the onions just starting as well. Very pretty, and it smells good too, people. Um, mushrooms and onions just pair well together. Okay, so there we have that. We're going to put some turkey on top. Again, I'm using the dark meat from the turkey Mrs. Rivet roasted yesterday. Uh, why? Because I like it. You can use any kind of meat you want. All right, so let's put some more mushroom on top. There we go with that. <clears throat> now comes the bechamel sauce. I guess I need a spoon to pour that. Okay, and then we're not done yet. We got to make it pretty. So, on top of that, we've got some chives that we're going to prettify it with. And that's not all. We have one more thing. To make it a complete delicious sandwich, we have some uh, Mazetta sweet uh, cherry peppers that we're going to put here on the side. Uh, they're going to go really well with this sandwich. All right, so there you go. Steaming hot turkey sandwich open face with uh, Mornay sauce, rivet style. Thanks for watching, people. Excellent, smells good. Y'all take care.